So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Half 932, but this is actually a special Half 932. You can't tell from that side of the box, but on this side, you can see that this is the Half 932 Black Edition. So the Half 932 is already a very well regarded, well established gaming case in its own right, but the Black Edition adds a few features. So you've got better, or improved GPU cooling. Okay, you have a transparent side window. Remember, the Half 932 has kind of a uh, smoked style side window. You've also got uh, support for two SSDs and it comes with two 230 millimeter fans. So let's go ahead, get this box open. And uh, you, I'm just gonna show you guys the packing materials, then I'm gonna unbox it, and then I'm gonna kinda come back. So we've got uh, your standard kind of, this is a, a semi-soft kind of foam, so it's not super brittle, but it's also not a closed cell foam that you see on some cases. So let me just dump it out, and I'll be back in a sec. Since the Half 932 Black Edition isn't actually that different from the regular half. This is going to be more of a look at the half 932 and uh, with a special highlight on the features that are different about the black edition. So we've got the large clear window here. So that is one of the key differences. Other than that, the case looks pretty much the same from the outside. So we'll start on this side. Okay, you've got side vents here. You've got that half branding on the on the side of the case here. You've got uh, on the top, actually on the top is interesting because you've got support for a 230 millimeter fan or you have support for dual 120 millimeter fans. So that gives you the ability to add a liquid cooling radiator for example or to use two smaller fans if you want to use your own because it's hard to find aftermarket 230 mil fans. Here you've got a spot for a fill port, which is awesome. I mean, everyone should include room for a fill port in their case because it costs nothing. All you do is drill a hole and then the water cooling guys are pretty happy. And then you've also got a little rubberized thing here for putting, you know, screws or, huh, bounced right off, screws or lens caps, caps so they won't move and you won't get lost. We have a reset switch, power switch. On the front of the case, we've got front USB 2, four ports. We have Firewire, eSATA, as well as a microphone and headphone jack. We've got our power light as well as our hard drive LED. So the five and a quarter inch bays are removed quite easily from this particular case. You just press in the things from the side, they pop out. You're gonna have to punch these out in order to install drives, but that's no big deal. So one, six five and a quarter inch bays. So let me just go ahead and throw that back in there. There we are. And then let's see if there's any trick to the front. Can't remember for the life of me how this works. Hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, on the other side, not really much of note. Vents here, but that's about it. Actually, I'm going to need a screwdriver for a sec. At the back we see one of the features that's great about the Half 932. That is the option to either install your power supply in the top or in the bottom. So you can do whichever you prefer. All you have to do is take out a plate here and then you have, can move it down to the other spot and install your power supply wherever you please. We've also got a 140 millimeter slash 120 millimeter fan mount so you can mount either kind of fan you desire and seven PCI expansion slots which is standard. So the Half X actually has more and is compatible with XL ATX motherboards whereas the Half 932 is intended for your standard ATX motherboards. All right, so why don't we start from the front, or rather from the side. Okay, so the first thing we see here is a GPU duct. All right, that's fairly obvious. It does come out if you don't want to use it, so there's a couple thumb screws holding it in, but it's there. So I guess you might as well, you might as well make use of it. It looks like You could probably put a fan in there. Yep, it's got mounting holes for a 120 millimeter fan. So that's gonna give you airflow directly over your graphics cards to make sure that they do not overheat in any way. I mean, you've also got a 230 millimeter fan here at the front of the case, but what this does is it just, uh, it, it, it provides a push-pull scenario. So where if you have a ton of drives here and it's a restrictive space, you're gonna be able to force more air through the front of the case directly over the GPU by setting up both of those fans. So speaking of drives, we have support for five three and a half inch drives. We have one SSD rail here. 
and then supposedly support for another SSD somewhere, but I'll have to figure out where that is a little bit later on in the process here because I don't see it yet. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Down here, we've got our power supply mount. We've got support for up to, oh, this is cool. So we've got support for up to two 120 millimeter fans down here in the bottom of the case. So that is, if you don't put your power supply here, you can have that as an intake on the case. We have toolless, oh yeah, I should show you guys this. Toolless mounting for all of our, uh, for all of our drives. So it doesn't look very solid, but as soon as you put a drive in it, it actually, solids right up and uh, holds the drive very securely. It's actually one of the more one of the more impressive toolless drive holders that I have seen in my I guess I can say it years of unboxing products. So there you go. Uh, toolless five and a quarter inches. So these are just the push button sort. All right. Up here we've got all of those internal cables. So you got your eSATA, your front power, your front switches, your uh, front USB, audio, firewire, everything is all right there. So here's some accessories. I'm guessing we're gonna find another three and a half inch to two and a half inch adapter inside here for the other SSD and we don't, okay? Here is an eight pin power adapter. This is a very, very uh, thoughtful inclusion from Cooler Master because not all power supplies reach all the way from the bottom up to the eight pin on the top of your motherboard. So they've included this just in case your power supply manufacturer has made one with short cables. Here's an a five and a quarter inch to three and a half inch adapter. So if you want to turn one of those front five and a quarter inch bays into a card reader or a floppy drive, if you still need a floppy drive, then you can go ahead and do that. Here we have all the screws and zip ties you're going to need to build your system as well as wheels. So this is a steel case. It's a heavy case, especially once you load it up with hardware. hardware. So it does come with casters so that you don't have trouble moving it around. All right, other features. Let's see, I guess oh, we're getting pretty close. So here's our other 230 millimeter fan. This is not an LED one. The one in the front, however, is. Uh, we do have a CPU cut out. So what that means is that you can swap your CPU cooler even without taking out the motherboard, even if it uses a backplate. You've got your standard spot for your IO here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to take a break. I'm going to find out where that other SSD mount is and I'll let you guys know. Found it. It's in one of the five and a quarter inch bays right here. So you've got one at three and a half to 2.5 inch. You've got one five and a quarter inch to 2.5 inch. So you can mount up to two SSDs natively in the case and uh, then four hard drives and one, two, three, four, five, five, five and a quarter inch devices all at the same time. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Cooler Master Half 932 Black Edition. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.